Okay. Thank you very much. It is a great uh, honor. Uh, I am a mathematician and I am a specialist of uh, uh, analysis, mathematical physics, probability and geometry combined with analysis being my main entry point. For a long time I used to say that the most important common point between my works was the notion of mathematical entropy. Let me recall that this notion was introduced by the Austrian physicist Ludwig Boltzmann in mathematical terms around the end of the 19th century as part of the scientific ping-pong game that he was playing with James Clerk Maxwell in order to develop atomistic theory. It was, in those days, an enormous stretch of thought to think that when you are in a quiet room, like the one we are in today, with uh, zero wind that we can feel, actually this vision of something very quiet has to be replaced by the very chaotic vision of billions of billions of particles bumping on each other constantly. And that uh, vision was uh, rejected by uh, many prominent scientists at the time. It was even more a stretch of thought, and I think that Boltzmann was the only one to believe that at some point, that some of the most fundamental laws of physics that we see always applied would actually rest on probabilistic and statistic formalism, because we have this idea that probability is the realm of what is uncertain and unpredictable. But uh, eventually, the ideas of uh, Boltzmann triumphed and were influential in a number of fields, led to the discovery, experimental uh, discovery of atoms at the beginning of the 20th century. And uh, many other adventures, since entropy is now recognized as one of the fundamental driving forces of physics. But entropy also made a major role in communication theory, since it turned out to be at the center of the theory of communication, developed by Shannon in the Bell Labs, and they're uh, spreading all around the science thereafter. And uh, entropy also turned out to be an extraordinarily important uh, concept for mathematics in itself. So in this uh, field and in this concept, I was lucky enough to bump on several contributions and uh, with several pieces of great luck. One of these uh, lucky uh, developments in my career was for my first vis professional visit to Italy when I visited Professor Giuseppe Toscani in Pavia. And he had an idea to prove a certain conjecture about the instantaneous increase of entropy in specially homogeneous gases, the so-called Tiacciniani conjecture after the late Carlo Tiacciniani. I was a young PhD student in those days with a lot of time, and he was director of a laboratory, so he had no time at all. So he gave me the idea, and I set up to work it out. Found quickly that it was a very naive and uh, rather stupid idea, but uh, in the process of checking it and making the computation, I bumped into a beautiful formula, which I thought was too beautiful to be useless. It turned out that this formula was the start of the solution of the problem and the start of many works on this subject with uh, Toscani and with uh, other people like Laurent de Villette. And uh, the general goal was to understand from a mathematical point of view quantitatively how the entropy increases in a gas. One of the main difficulties for this was to understand and capture the tension that there is in a gas between phenomenon of information transfer through collisions of particles and fluid mechanics. Now, in physics, mathematical physics, many of the important and uh, fascinating equations are related to the tension of two phenomena. Uh, as we know, in biology, it's such a complicated situation because you have all the time dozens of phenomena going together at the same time. But in physics, very often, we can isolate just the contradiction between two. And part of my work was made in that. Another um, piece of luck in my career was when I was happened to be reading a course of probability by Michel Ledoux just a few weeks after having heard 
um, the uh, talk of a young German mathematician, Felix Otto, using the notion of entropy to define the heat equation in a novel way. And I recognized that there was a relation between these two things, and this was the start of another piece of mathematics in which entropy played a fundamental role, this time applied to non-Euclidean geometry. And we were the first of a group of people who understood that you can read the so-called Ricci curvature bounds through the evolution of entropy in a gas which is constrained by, the, by laws of minimal motion. This implied developments of an uh, unexpected type in uh, geometry and uh, turned out to the my right spending a couple of years of my life writing a big reference book on the subject. The reference book was about a thousand pages long. If I wanted to write it again seven years later, it would have to be 2,000 pages since the subject has grown so far so fast uh, from that time and completely um, uh, develop completely overcame my modest achievements in a way. Uh, however, uh, the most visible part of my work came from understanding relaxation in uh, another field, another mathematical physics field, which is theory of plasmas and the so-called Landau damping effect which was suggested by Lev Landau in the 1940s, according to which in the plasma there are relaxation phenomena which do not involve the increase of entropy and which are rather related to mixing. Parallel to what astrophysicists call uh, violent relaxation in galaxies. And it was part of a new revolu conceptual revolution, 70 years after Boltzmann, according to which entropy increase and irreversibility was not the only source of stability. I spent two years together with my former student Clément Mouot um, tracking this Landau damping effect in the mathematical world in the non-linearity in non-linear world. And uh, this resulted in a 150 page long proof of that uh, Landau damping which uh, was also the start of a new um, field of research related to uh, relaxation with non-entropic effects. This eventually um, led me to be lucky enough to receive the Fields Medal in 2010 for this set of uh, works on the uh, stability. was the start of another part of my career with a lot of public outreach, administration, uh, public lectures, going in the media and trying to improve the perception of science by the society, working also for being involved in the development of science in uh, uh, Africa, among other things. In this academy, I hope to uh, be able to participate constructively in the debates at a time in which mathematics has uh, taken more importance than ever, not only in science but also in society at large since through the rise of algorithms they now play a major role in the public debate in society. Uh, it is my first, uh, so this is my first uh, stay here as a, a member and it is a great honor for me.